I'm outraged. Okay. When it was announced um, on the 22nd that it had been overturned, um, I wasn't able to march. There was a local march. I had uh, was on a, a prom night uh, and missed it and felt horrible. But um, I think all of us should definitely vote because each state is um, having upcoming elections on issues like this after this decision that um, they don't allow for incest, rape, or abnormalities and different states, especially Texas, um, is uh, going to make it totally impossible for women to have uh, abortions and uh, end up in prison or being sued or uh, it's just, it's outrageous. As uh, a lesbian, I, uh, I was shocked, but I shouldn't have been. Uh, it was coming and I think we all knew it. Um, I, since then I have felt, uh, I don't know if the word powerless is the word, but we're more, de more determined to uh, speak up and out and uh, uh, you know, all across the United States, they're doing things like contrast corporations are doing uh, for employees, mm -hmm. partial or whatever travel for uh, abortions. And um, I have friends who are uh, getting contraceptives to be able to help women who may need it. And uh, it's crucial that uh, in states where it's not already uh, laws on the book, uh, because it's up to the states now, uh, now you have uh, three appointed by Trump and uh, that is, uh, uh, scary as far as future and it it seems it seems appears to me to be political that the uh, uh, choices are between Republicans and Democrats but um, I've read that over half of the uh, United States um, has sodomy, not sodomy, but uh, laws to um... sorry, it gets uh, upsetting. Well, the childbearing age, I, I've seen statistics on uh, and I'm not sure what childbearing age actually is, right. but they list who uh, uh, how many uh, childbearing women have this and have that as far as uh, education and uh, jobs and availability and um, it, uh, I don't know. It seems as if it's become too powerful. Uh, that, uh, it's dictating our bodies. Well, women have made lawsuits and uh, won verdicts and uh, have made steps forward to protect themselves. And now today, uh, you don't have that choice. Uh, so hopefully there becomes a, an underground uh, uh, to help women uh, in different places uh, of the upcoming elections, right? Uh, in different states, uh, we have to, or I think we have to back uh, uh, those people that are uh, against uh, this new decision.
to put them in. But uh, now they're changing the laws where the voting restrictions in different states. Um, well, ago. I'm trying to remember what year. It was 49 years ago Roe versus Wade went through. Um, 53, I think. 53. I'm not sure. Don't quote me, but uh, a long time. My fear was always I was going to be uh, raped. Uh, and I don't think that's just my fear that a lot of women have that or had that anyway, or do, uh, that you didn't have control over your body. And uh, we need today to uh, fight back even more with uh, elections, with voting, with uh, let's all vote.